Hey everybody, Jake here. Today we're going to fix a problem that I'm having with my LG washing machine. This is the Waveforce washing machine. It's not a very old machine, but what basically is happening is it stops at the point where it has to drain and spin. So all the water remains in the tub and I can't get it to drain or complete a full wash cycle. When it gets to this point, the only thing I hear is a buzzing sound where nothing is really happening. The buzzing starts and stops a few times and eventually I get an error code of OE on the front control panel of the washing machine. At this point, I did a little research and Googled OE on an LG washing machine and it basically means there is a pump blockage or a blockage in the line. And so at this point, I decided to take it apart and try to fix it myself. One of the biggest problems is that you can't work on a machine that's full of water. You can't move it, and you certainly don't want to start taking hoses off near the pump because you're going to have a major flood inside your house. So what I decided to use is a bilge pump from my boat, and I connected it to a 12-volt battery. I threw the pump in the water, and I basically pumped out the water a little bit into the hose or the drain in the wall and the rest I put into several buckets. It actually took about uh, 10 buckets of water to completely get this um, washing machine empty. And even as I got to the very, very bottom when the pump was sitting on the bottom of the tub, there was still a little bit of water that was not able to get out. So at that point I had to use a cup and scoop it out little by little until I got as much out as I could. At this point, before you go any further, make sure the plug is out of the wall. All right, so once the water is out of the washing machine, now you can easily move it. In the back of the washing machine, there is a metal panel. There are four screws on the metal panel. I removed the four screws and I pulled the panel carefully off the back so I could get to any of the components on the inside. On the very, very bottom towards the right, I quickly identified the pump, which is sitting there because you can tell it's got two hoses on it, one going in and one coming out. And there is a electrical supply connected to it as well. Um, there's a little piece of plastic, like a shield. It probably has something to do with dampening the sound. That comes off very easily. There's a little clip in the front and a little clip in the back, and I removed that uh, plastic cover off the top of the pump. From here, I needed some tools. I grabbed the quarter inch drive with a quarter inch extension and also a 10 millimeter socket. And this is what we're gonna need to remove the pump. There are three bolts that hold the pump down. There are two bolts in the back and one bolt in the front. The bolts come out very, very easily, but you're gonna need these tools to do that. Remember, counterclockwise to remove and clockwise to tighten. And here is the front bolt coming out right now. Once all three bolts are out, I was able to lift the pump up a little bit and expose the two wires that are connected to it in the back and I pulled the wires out. There's a white one and a blue one. The blue one was sitting closest to me. In other words, it was closest to the back of the washing machine. So when you put it back together, you know which way to put it. So let's stand back and take a little look. There is a hose in the front and that's the first one I took off. You might need a screwdriver to remove this hose. Um, you'll basically squeeze the little clamp, move the clamp out of the way, and if you have to take a screwdriver, you take a screwdriver and you, and you kind of push it out of the way. The first thing I did was I looked inside this hose. I didn't see anything, no blockages. It looked pretty open and free. And um, the only thing that was in there was kind of like uh, some kind of glue, I guess, that they used from the manufacturing where they put it in there and made sure it's seated. But when I looked inside the pump, I saw something that looked a little strange. It looked like a wire that was sticking out. So I grabbed my needle nose pliers and I pulled on it and lo and behold, 
there was a what appears to be a paper clip that got jammed into the pump motor and that's likely what was causing the blockage and causing the OE code to show up. I reached in and uh, tried to move the pump. The pump was free at that point so I put the hose back on and I started reassembling the washing machine from here. At this point I kind of knew that had to be the problem. And the reassembly is just like taking it apart but in reverse. And so um, you're going to put your hose on, make sure your clamp is put into place and you're going to also put your two wires back into place right now. Remember the blue wire closest to you and the white wire closest to the front of the machine. And those wires will just push back right into place like you're pushing a plug in. Okay, so once the plug is in, you're going to put the motor in place and you're going to line up the three bolts one at a time. And I think I did the uh, front one first and then I put the bolts in, the two bolts in the back. And sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit to get the bolts to go through the hole in the pump and then into the frame of the washing machine. But once you get it in, you could do it by hand at first and then you just reach in with your wrench and you tighten it. Clockwise again is tightening. And don't forget your plastic shield again that goes on. There's a little clip in the back and a little clip in the front and that's easy enough. Once you get that on, it's time to put the back cover back on the washing machine and you're going to put your four screws back into place. And once everything is tightened up, now it's time to test the washing machine and see if it drains. And I started the cycle and as you can see, from the video I pulled the hose out of the drain in the wall a little bit and you can see that it's now draining and the water is coming out of the machine and it's going to finish the cycle. Listen everybody I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was helpful please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe I've got more great videos to come have a nice day everybody bye.